Paul, Peter, and them guys, they were back there teaching. The word was spreading all over. So you had a lot of demons like now. It's just like now. This is the, this is the second book of Acts, man. Because this word is spreading now. But in the midst of that, like the disciples, the, 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 oh, the, the number of the disciples was multiplying. More and more brothers all over was waking up to the truth. But just as you had that, you had the demons out there. Guys like Simon Bar Jesus and all that. Because they because they wrote about it when you read in these 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 um these letters, man, these epistles. This is second John one and seven. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Yahweh has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and the anti Christ. Look to yourselves what we lose not those things which we have wrought but that we receive a full reward see what I mean in other words you got to stick to the truth because them guys that they call themselves Israelites and they still p pushing Israel but they bringing these other madness into that they ain't going to receive the reward they ain't going to make it out of here they going to eat missiles man okay the brothers that's still going on primarily GMS teaching the breaking down the scriptures the right way teaching the truth Okay, those are the ones that's going to make it of the elect. Yeah, the root word, I'm sorry, the root word from do dolos, right, which is uh, subtile, which means uh, craft, to, to deceive. Um, when you go to the etymology of that word, you come across the word del de azo, right, from the word do dolos, which, which means to deceive or to be subtile, right? And the word, the word means to bait catch by a bait to beguile by blasph uh, blasphemment uh, I'm sorry bland blandishment allure entice deceive right and then one of the words was decoy de decoy like when you go back to the word dalos right the word um, let me let me find it again Okay, right here it says from an absolute primary verb, uh, "delo," uh, probably meant to to decoy, right? So now I looked up the word decoy, and the word means law or entice a person or animal away from an intended course, typically into a trap. Hmm. So Yeshia is is basically set up to be a trap. Yeah. A Judas, he, he's a Judas goat. He's a main Judas goat, man. He's a Judas goat. A uh, Yohanna is a Judas ghost, goat. A Judas ghost. He's soon he gonna be a Judas ghost. A uh, 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 Nate is a Judas goat. Bubbleye is a major Judas goat because he had them people believe that you gotta leave, you gotta leave Babylon, man. And then he went out there, and a lot of them had it, had it. Well, when they woke up and found out that it was scam, they made their way back over there, man, and they never got back with the dude. Yeah. They went on their own, and some of them just went back into the world. Uh, 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 check this out. Uh, it's, it's back in Second John one and nine, whosoever we talked since we talked about the Judas goats, whosoever <laughs> transgress, <laughs> yep, Judas goats. Yeah, it's not like a group, right? Like a rock group. Judas goats. Second uh, John one and nine, whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Have not the most high. <laughs> Look at that. that. That's them. They they, they negated the Yahweh Shai. They don't teach the name. They teaching that uh, the mark of the beast is not the chip. Okay. Nate and them guys talking about the, how to deal with depression or how to be a good husband. That look, man. That's not what this thing is about. Okay. Okay. Who's so transgressive? Yeshaya, Nate, Yahana. And abideth not in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, talking about the mark of the beast is an embargo. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? Have not the Most High. The Most High ain't dealing with none of them guys. And you can see it. Look at their flock. They had that little cookout. Those guys are a bunch of niggas, man. Yeah, straight up. Okay? It's just outright, yeah, man. Grimy, grimy. grimy ass hood rat niggas dressed up wearing Israelite garments, man. That's all they are. Okay? He. That abideth in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, he hath both the Father and the Son. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. 
And you know what? I'm just going to say it boldly. That's us. Because we're the only ones that's still pushing the name. We're pushing about the missiles. You guys don't even talk about all the those, missiles. All those different groups are yeah. slowly, are quickly taking away, now quickly taking away the name. Yeah. The main thing, when that goes, man, that, that's when you watch the guy, man. Either he changed the name all together to Yahya and Yeshaya, or his name is uh, Christ. You know, well, we can we, we believe that it's Yahweh Shah, but we say Christ because we don't want to confuse the people. Well, you're confusing the people by using the word Christ. And like I said, when you watch the new, the the the, the recent uh, video that uh, that uh, Comfy put up, man, basically the whole intro was Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, this praise Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus Christ and big bold letters, man. And then, and then inside that congregation was mo the majority of the people, eighty percent of them had to be women. Women were wearing pants too, man. And here, Ariar, man, he knows, and I'm looking at Ariar, man. He blowing that long trumpet, man, uh, that 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 that, that uh, ram's horn. And then Shaw, man. And Shaw is just as simple as he can be, man. He's known for his simpl simplicity, man. Like if I if I ran into Shaw, if we ran into Shaw, man, he wouldn't be able to look us in the eye. No. I asked him a basic question. I said, "Do you believe that that?" Yeah, I said, "You really believe that bullshit?" And I asked a right guy, that overgrown ox. Yeah, 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 that dummy. That you le he he came back when you left the you left the school. The school ain't even there no more, man. There no more. So so now what? Yeah. Now what? The, well, the last thing I heard of from uh, who ran Gadget. Uh, he did that video. I was, uh, I was there. Oh, that was that was old, man. That was old. Dead now. That's the last time we heard from that. Was like three years ago, four years ago. And then I did a counter video on the shit. And after that, boy, he just disappeared. After I did that, he he didn't do a counter to my video. And the video I did was a counter to your shit. How, you guys were running out of shit, man. Y'all ran out. Of, no, you ran out of shit a long time ago. Y'all ain't got nothing. Y'all don't. Well, I just read it. Whosoever transgressive and abideth not in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai have not the most high. And that happened right back in one west. Because as soon as they started switching shit up for all them years, y'all told us, y'all told us that Marshall was King David. You made us swear oaths to that. And that was always taught. The house of David, that's what it's all about. Under Yahweh Shai, right? Now all of a sudden, before that, before it was split, Look, it's 12 kings. Which it is going to be 12 kings. Yahweh Shai said it. But uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a nation of kings. Only 144,000 kings. But there's an order amongst kings. Yahweh Shai is the ultimate king, right? But under Yahweh Shai, there's going to be other kings. But there's always an order. So amongst the 12 kings, there's going to be one. I'm talking about on the earth. King David is in his lot. That's Amos, man. The ninth chapter, King said, "I will restore the house of David, which is fallen." So King David is going to come back as a king over other kings. All right. So yeah, in that part in uh, Acts, uh, the fifteenth chapter, we're going to go through that too when we're getting ready to close. They read like um, yeah, the old breakdown um, of uh, the the house of David coming back together. They'll go to. Um, uh, was that Amos? Uh, was that Amos nine and twelve? And then they'll go to Act fifteen, and they'll say that's linked up. It's not linked up because that has, Cornelius had nothing to do with with uh, 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 Amos uh, 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 nine and twelve. So you guys are stuck on that, okay? Because yeah. that's that's a scripture that you use, Bubba Lied, to uh, justify that white Edomites could come into your fold. All right. Now I look up the word. Mischief, right? And the word there, let me listen to it one more time so I can say it correctly. It's Ra Ra Du Ogia. That's from the Greek. And the meaning, that's the Greek word from, uh, for uh, mischief, right? And this is what it says it says, because Paul said that this guy was subtile, and he was a he was a, 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 a he was a mischief, right? It says uh, ease in doing, faculty, levity or easiness in thinking or acting, love of a lazy, effeminate life, unscrupulous, cunning, mischief. 
And that's why they knew that they can sell you guys out because they know you want to live that easy life, man. They want to, they, they, they know that you want to live that easy night life. You want to have them nice uh, 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 chariots, cars, whatever you want to call it, whips, whatever the hell you want to call it. They know you want to live that. You they, they know you want to have that refrigerator where you can take the, the the glass and put it under there, and ice pops out, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you open the refrigerator and it opens up three ways. 